Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering the questions in the Would You Rather tag. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the Geek Guy family, and if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the questions to the Would You Rather tag. Now, I believe this tag was created by Kelly Gooch, but the person whose video I watched and inspired me to create this video was Brie here on YouTube, and her YouTube channel is called Purple Pink Red. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. If you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to create this tag yourself, I'm going to leave all the questions in the description box down below so you can create them in your own video if you so wish. But I thought that the questions in this particular tag, they're really interesting, they're really different, different and it really gives you an insight into how a person operates in their thought processes with how we apply and use our makeup. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into question number one. Would you rather have a bad base or bad eye makeup? I would definitely prefer bad eye makeup and have a really good base because while I would prefer not to have bad makeup in general, it's more evident when you have a bad base of makeup. I can really tell when my foundation is breaking out, my concealer isn't blended in, my contour is just like patchy and wonky. I would much rather have a really good makeup base and a bad eye makeup day. I mean, goodness knows, I've probably had many of those type of days anyway, especially like when I'm slapping on the makeup, going to work, and then I look in the mirror at work and I'm like, ooh, girl, you could have done a better job with your eye makeup, but my base is like, I've got that routine down pat, so I would definitely prefer bad eye makeup over a bad foundation base. Because it's definitely more difficult to hide a bad makeup day when it comes to a base rather than eye makeup. Plus, I do wear glasses as well, so I can hide whatever shit makeup might be going on on my eyes for that day. <laughs> Question number two, for the rest of your life, would you rather wear a neutral eye or a neutral lip? I think I would much rather have a neutral eye look. For me personally, I think that wearing a bright colored lipstick will dress up and jazz up your look any day. This is generally what I do when I go to work. I'll have a very neutral eye look. I might just have a little bit of a brown eyeshadow in my crease and a very simple black eyeliner, but then I'll wear a bright bold lipstick. I think that it still looks very sophisticated sophisticated and clean to have a bright bold colored lip because it looks like you put so much more effort into your look when I have a bright bold lip and a really neutral eye rather than vice versa. I love the way that wearing a bright colored lipstick will completely transform any look. It can completely pick up any plain looking makeup day that you might have going on. Like for example, at work when I don't want to put that much effort into my makeup, I'll go without mascara, I'll even go without eyeliner, but I'll put on a good base and a bright lip and I, I'm happy with that. I, I could live with that decision. <laughs> Question number three, would you rather wear the wrong foundation or no foundation at all? I think I would prefer wearing no foundation at all. Wearing the wrong foundation really makes me look like a nuffy. <laughs> It'll make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. It'll make me look like I don't know how to apply a foundation or how to shade match myself. So I'd much rather go without than look like I don't know how to wear makeup. Does that make sense? <laughs> Whether it's the wrong foundation shade or the wrong foundation for my type of skin, I would much rather wear no foundation at all than wear a foundation that doesn't suit me because if you're wearing the wrong foundation, it's gonna look shit anyway, so I'd much rather wear no foundation at all. Question number four, would you rather give up primer or setting spray? I think I will rather give up setting spray than primer. If I have a good primer that I know works for me, like glycerin, I know that my makeup is going to last longer throughout the day, even without a setting spray. I've gone to work many a time without using a setting spray, but I have used a good primer, glycerin, and it's worked for me. My makeup has stayed on throughout the day. So I know for a fact that my primer is going to come through for me. Whereas setting sprays, I feel like it, they wear off either way, whether or not you have a primer on. So, well, depending on the setting spray. But yeah, I would much rather give up setting spray than my primer. Question number five, would you rather not wear makeup for a year or drink coffee for a year? I would much rather not drink coffee for a year. And even if you include in that tea, hot chocolate, chives, I would much rather give up those hot drinks than wearing makeup. Because, I mean, if I cut out those hot drinks anyway, consuming them, that means I'll drink more water, which is good for me anyway. And you know, I love my makeup. Like, I'm confident without it. I can go out without makeup, but I would much rather be able to wear makeup than have 
coffee because I go through phases as well anyway like while I do love my coffee if I have too much and it builds up too much in my system I start getting heart palpitations I get anxiety and I start jittering and I, I can't think properly which is well, I mean, let's be real there. That's me most of the time either way. But add the influence of caffeine and, and coffee to that mix, then I'm, I'm a real fucking mess. So yes, I'd much rather give up coffee than the permission to wear makeup. Question number six, would you rather have 60 seconds to do your daily makeup routine or have to do a full glam one hour transformation every time you do your makeup? I think if I had the time in the morning or whenever to do a one hour transformation with my makeup, then that must mean that I've got a job that requires that, right? So I would much rather have a one hour full makeup glam transformation than only have 60 seconds to do my makeup because I've done the five minute makeup challenge and it was shit like my makeup probably never looked worse than that five minute makeup challenge I'm gonna leave it linked up here if you do want to see it I would much rather have the one hour to do my makeup than complete my makeup look in 60 seconds and chances are if I'm doing my makeup in one hour that means more YouTube content because chances are I'll probably be filming it as well and ultimately that's the life that I do want in the long term that's the career I do want I do want to do YouTube as a full-time job so this has taken a strange turn but yes I would much rather have the one hour to do a full face of makeup I mean let's be real here I'd probably just get foundation on my face and absolutely nothing else and I, I do enjoy wearing a full face of makeup as you can see right here <laughs> feeling really cute today actually <laughs> Now question number seven, would you rather only use mattes or shimmers? While I do love my glitter and shimmers and shines and highlights, if I was only allowed to choose one formula for a full face of makeup, I would definitely go with matte because if I could only use shimmers for both my contour, for my blush, for my highlight, I find that it will really texturize my face. There are some areas in your face that you don't wanna apply shimmers, like if you're wanting to contour and shape your face, I personally like to stay away from shimmery products in those areas of my face because it kinda, it's kind of counterintuitive. If you're wanting a shadow there, why would you apply a shine there if that makes any sense at all? And that's just me personally. I know some people like to apply a shimmery bronzer and I do too. If it's got its time and place, like for example, if I'm going to the beach and I want more of a glow, I want more of a shine, then I might go in with a bit more of a shimmery contour slash bronzer. But if I only had to choose between the two formulas for a full face of makeup, I'd definitely go with matte. You can do so many good looks with a matte formula. You just got to know how to work it and how to make it look good on your skin. This also will depend on a person's skin type. You might have a different preference because you have a different skin type than me, but for me personally, if I had to choose, I would definitely go for mattes over shimmers. Question number eight, would you rather not do makeup for a year or never watch another YouTube video again? Well, that's a tough one because I love to watch YouTube. Also, my YouTube channel is doing makeup, so that's a really difficult one. So the first part is rather not do makeup for a year, so it's only year, and the second half is never watch ever another YouTube video again. So I think I would rather not do makeup for a year. I know that might give me a break. That might give me a chance to create maybe different kinds of content. It'll be difficult to not do makeup when my channel is literally about makeup, but it's only for a year. So if I had to choose, if you're like twisting my arm and I literally, I just spat everywhere. If you're twisting my arm and I had to choose, I would probably choose not to do makeup for a year because I can still create some sort of content with makeup rather than never watch another YouTube video video again. Because my entertainment does consist of a lot of YouTube. I don't have a television. I don't read a lot of books. I don't really watch movies. I have Netflix, but you know, it's not really something that I gravitate towards a lot. I like to watch YouTube videos when I'm getting ready in the morning. I have some favorite YouTubers that I love. I don't miss any of their videos. So yeah, I would definitely choose not to do makeup for a year rather than never, ever, ever watch another YouTube video again. That's a tough one. That's a really difficult question. I, it kind of hurt me to say not do makeup for a year because I mean, I love doing a full face of makeup. <laughs> Question number nine, one of these three things have to go, highlight, bronzer, or blush? I'd probably 
totally say blush. I love bronzer because it gives my face shape and structure. I have a very round face and without bronzer, my face looks even more round and moon-like. <laughs> So bronzer, I've got to keep. Highlight, it provides a contrast to the bronzer, so I like that. And blush, I suppose I can put color on my cheeks in a different type of way. Maybe if I was going to cheat a little bit, I'd maybe use a warmer type of bronzer to still give my face that flush of color. So if I had to choose, I'd just like piss off blush and bronzer and highlight can stay. Anyway, that's the last question in this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit of a, a nothing video, but I'm just... <sighs> I'm doing what I can guys. <laughs> I have a lot more makeup looks planned, especially coming up into the month of October. So I have a few exciting colorful looks planned and of course they will be incorporating my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes because I just have the most fun creating looks with these eyeshadow palettes. I actually created this look using the festival palette. I just had a bit of a play with it. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to create this tag again for yourself, I'll leave all the questions in the description box down below. And if you want to create this video, then you are tagged. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and ring the notification bell because I put out new videos every single week. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I really want apple pie. Really craving apple pie right about now. It's would you have would you <laughs> to really think about this. Question number six. Would you rather have only 60 seconds to do your makeup date? Question number six. Would you rather have 60 seconds to do your date? Because YouTube uh, because YouTube because YouTube does compromise, so I think blush can. So if I had to choose, so I've had if I because I put out because I put out.